Yes, welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Tankers of Blitz Universe to the channel. I have a bit of a deja vu, because it is Best Blitz Replays, and it's again tier 5, and it's again at Copperfield. Yeah, the scene and the setting are similar, that's quite correct, but the tanks could be no more different. We go from the KV-220T, fairly slowish, but really well armored to the AMX ELC base, really quick and no armor whatsoever, so it takes a rather C9, we're looking at him over here on the right hand side on the top flank of Copperfield. Yes, he needs about 20 seconds to go on the flank, to spot a few tanks and to get back into cover again, because the biscuit has got no armor. But it can fit into every nook and cranny on the battlefield. It's such a low profile tank. It has that wonky turret which doesn't traverse all around. It doesn't even traverse 180 degrees. I think it's, what is it, 90? 45 uh, to the left and 45 to the right in total. But it's a fun one. It's quick. It, it goes forward fairly quick. It goes backwards fairly quick. And it's also getting a bit crowded over here. The M4 just about misses him. There is the Leopard still behind him. And you're just praying now that you don't get blocked or that you do get uh, pushed around, shoved around because you don't have the armor to survive. And you can also see that the Reds have won the flank. They have won the hill, they cleared that SAU-40 and that is going to be a problem because if they can keep pushing, if green team gets bogged down over here, what will happen then? They will just lose tank after tank and there is the M8A1 already down on his team. Luckily, Rodders manages to clear the scavenger, but he's lost a fair bit of health due to that M4 bumping into him, denying him from retreating, and he's losing some more health, but also blocking. Just look at that. We've had a Spartan medal in the Emil in the last episode, and this is 125 blocked in the AMX ELC BIS. Epic blocking machine. Epic side scraping tank. But yeah, if you wiggle around, you catch a few shots on the tracks, and that counts as blocked damage. And you can also see the Rudders is careful here. He realizes probably that he is on three kills already, out of three in total. So that means we are entering top gun areas over here. He takes the top gun here now and then drives under the gun of the Wolverine. Doesn't get a shot in yet, but gets a kill shot there for 160. And suddenly he is on five kills. He has secured the Red Lee Walters. And the team is thinking, right, we, we've won this flank, let's just keep pushing onwards or just maybe stay because there are tanks there. But Rudders had already seen that the Reds were pushing on this flank. Oh, no, oh god, oh no, oh no, don't shoot me, Hatsa, don't shoot me, get a track shot. Yes, lovely. Then go around, lose a bit of health. But he does get the kill now. Can't, can't out traverse the Hatsa. And all he is wanting now is get that last kill on the Matilda. Please don't kill him, Panzer 4D or Leopard or any other tank. Don't do it. He's waiting for it. He's waiting for it. Waiting for it still. Yeah, 128. Let's go. Kill him. Seven kills. 1471 damage. 125 blocked. And a nice mastery as well for Rudder C9 in the AMX ELC biz. High caliber there. And there is the Resenny Eyes. Heroes Medal 7 kills. Thank you very much for sending that in through my Facebook page and remember do check out his YouTube channel. We're gonna stay with French with French tanks today because it's Vive la France. So uh, we have today we have the SCM 50T TT with the yeah sort of winter camouflage. This was part of what was it? Yeah, football, but what? Euro 2016? <coughs> I think it was. One of two camouflages, actually. The other one is dedicated to Zinedine Zidane, the Zizou camouflage. And this one looks decidedly out of place at Black Goldfield. But does look kind of good if you are using it as a proper winter camouflage. Uh, the CDC does poke out, uh, but forgets he can't really shoot anyone there because he's exposing his driver is he going to do that again no not yet is he going to do it again no not yet all right let's then shoot this tank the sp1c who is in a completely wrong position but uh we're not complaining if you can shoot tanks two shots in non-taken by a uh, roland vestum rolling bunker 
who has featured on the channel before but this was a really nice game and in the end there are a few things are going to be very hectic because you can see already that the reds are pushing hard seven tanks are around in the cave area and there's an is3 there's a 30 there is a t49 that's big guns that's derpy guns that's a lot of dpm there is the cdc doesn't get a track shot unfortunately the t44 100 is down and that they've got two heavies who for some reason decide to flank hard oh look we have won the town can we go in now can we go in Credit what credit you, those heavies realized they were in the wrong position, so they did decide to push. Uh, Ron the Vestum can now put a shot into the T49. He is tempted in a way to go forward, but the T43 is cleared by the red IS3. AC shot on the front of that SP1C, and he also realized that if he pushes, then he will get shot. He tries to side scrape, yes, blocks the shot from the. What's the that the 49? It wasn't 49, it was a 30, then the T49 shoots him. And this is going to be interesting. Can he clear the tank and not get shot in return? CDC is down, that's good. One shot into the T49. Bump into him, take a look at the Ferdinand. He is not looking. Shoot him again. No, don't shoot me. He gets the shot and then. Ta ta! With the butt, with the big derriere of the French SEM 50T. The French carrying machine. I know it's not uh, that, but uh, hey, who, who cares? <laughs> It's a, it's a nice abbreviation, French carrying machine. Anyway, if you have teammates that flank around completely uselessly, and then you can stay alive as long well as possible, you do have interesting situations, actually. Because like this, you, you, you're left at 23 hit points. That's the low roll for I3. What? There's no Russian bias in World of Tanks. So I get the low roll on the French tank. There's French bias. But like I said, if you have teammates rolling around like a Muppet and if they are clearing a flank where they really shouldn't be or if they are taking too long, they might get up on your flank at full health. And then, yeah, would be good luck to this I3 who then thinks I can kill Roland of Esto. Can he, can he, can he, can he? No, he gets shot up the bum by player underscore 749396054 in the IS3 who is full health. GG to him. Look at me, I've retained my health. <laughs> but 4k for Roland of Vestum and 819 damage. Two shots for the IS3. But this was a good game, a close one, a lucky one you call that on the Discord channel. Thank you very much for sending that one in, I really liked it. This one was sent in to me through email. martindogger.wotb at gmail.com And it is a peculiar platoon i think a light tank an amx 3090 platoon with a vk 101p but king robert who we are looking at here knows what he's doing and he goes to uh, this l-shaped bush parks his strength uh, sideways so he covers all the viewports and decides to go for some early spotting there seems to be no early spotting there is no spotting on the top either his team is moving into camping positions so Robert decides, right, I've had enough of it already. Let's enough of it done, let's uh, get cracking and spot up some tanks. And as soon as he rounds the corner, lo and behold, oh crap, there's a T-49. Run away, run away, run away, I'm spotted as well. Get one shot in, through the drive wheel, cool 216. And then another shot in, oh, only for track damage. And then only for track damage, and you get a full clip. And you get three shots in your clip. And you do 216 damage. I was looking at this replay and I was thinking, I don't really like to have tanks that, that farm AFKs, but Robert is going to do something funny. I was At first I was thinking, right, he's going to run away, he's going to bugger off because he will get outspotted by the T-49 constantly. He's playing on PC because and, and he can get a, a quick shot in, auto aim shot, but he's playing the tank really good, really cool. He, by the time he sort of things right i'm probably unspotted now he decides to go uh, back again he is reloading already and the yard panther does not know where he is he takes a look over the building jet hello yard panther bounces one shot spots up the emil then then shoots the yard panther again shoots him again goes around him 
and is now just simply turning around, taking a look at the Jagdpanzer, taking a look at the T-49. He is still AFK, not moving at all. Oh, there's an ammo moving in. Go forward, go forward. Yes, we are blocked. Emily has fired. Right, I'm safe now. I can start killing this poor yeah. And he gets the first shot in. And then a shot in on the... No, not a shot in on the Emu. But he's still in a bit of a pickle here. If, if that 49 comes alive, then he will have... Then he will have some problems. So he decides to drive around and just keep driving around. And by the time he's nearly reloaded, he pops up. Wiggles. Emu misses. There we go. One shot in. That's a broken engine. I'm gonna shoot him again in the lower plate. And they catch fire. That's what German tanks do. German tanks are good, but they have really bad engines. No Volkswagen or BMW or Audi. Just old Maybach and Henschel stuff in there. And yeah, if you want to take out German tanks easily with an autoloader, shoot them in the lower plate. They are bound to catch fire. They don't always catch fire, but if you want to do that, transmission is still in there. Yeah, it, it's, an e it's an easy shot on Amu on Tiger Peas, not so much, but on Tiger Wands, VKs, shoot them in the lower plate, and they will catch fire. Now it's cleaning up time. Um, 49 still AFK, so yeah, we can farm that damage. Now we can shoot him once with HE on the turret, preferably. Right, we can do it again. Let's blow him up. Uh, no, let's not blow him up. RNG decides you blow up with just one clip. You can't go any sooner. You have to use your last shot for 15 hit points. <laughs> oh, yeah. But he is on three kills at the moment. And it's now indeed a matter of cleaning up. Because the Amul and the Panther they decided to go into the lower area to juke it out with a very quick auto-loading French light tank. And T-49 was AFK. I was surprised actually to see that, that the Reds or, or Greens lost tanks to the Reds up there. I mean, it was a. What was it? A 6 versus 4. They should have pushed probably. They should have pushed a bit harder. Maybe not with the Scorpion, but some of the other tanks that they should have pushed there. You can see his teammate in the VK here. He died heroically side scraping at the mill. And they've won the flank. They've held the flank and then allowed Robert. King Robert to clean up he is still on full health no damage needed to repair 3.8k damage done top gun high caliber redley walters 1323 base xp so thank you very much for sending that one in king robert 24 from the aob clan now we're just taking the look at statistics here like we always do <laughs> right onwards and upwards next game and it's still Vive la France. It is the French edition. We are looking at Cool Guy 12 from Pact underscore clan. Pact. P A C T in the A M X C D C. And where are we gonna be? We're gonna be at Vineyards. Dab. He's going to drive the A M X. And shout out to you, mate. I admire how you are driving this tank. I, for the love of God. Can't drive it. I drive like a Muppet. I'm way too aggressive in it, probably. Um, I'm overconfident in the DPM, in the ramming possibilities. But this is really good gameplay. Solid gameplay, solid maneuvering around early spotting, hopefully, like with the AMX 3090. Early spotting? Come on, can we, can we get some early spotting, please? Hello. I like to do some early spotting. Ah, there's no one here. Right, early spotting. What are we going to do? Are we going to rush in? Of course not. Oh yeah, there's some early spotting. Lovely, right. That's the first early spotting. Roll back just a bit, just a bit more, just a bit more. Until the bushes become that semi-translucent. And then you bounce. Because it is a Russian tech. Or is it a Chinese one? I'm not sure. It might have been a Chinese one. Cool guy then moves forward again to get some more spots in. Doesn't work. Don't turn the turret that much. That would be would lead you to exposing your visibility checkpoints oh 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 no oh no he's alone now the t49 moved away that is i think a lightweight over there and there's a red t49 as well so what you're gonna do then you're gonna sit behind the rock you're gonna turn your tank so you don't get shot through your turret side and then you wait for the t49 to shoot and then try to get a quick shot in doesn't work that's unfortunate 
But the cap is running. The cap is going high now. That's a great shot. That's a great shot. That's 10 out of 10 for skill. But the cap is going up quickly, as you can see. The T-49 then runs away very quickly. He gets shot again from the 54 lightweight. And the Reds are realizing that they can clear the other flank. They can clear a tank right there in the middle. Just look at that. Mine, 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 mine. That's how they all went, probably, on the century. Mine, mine. I want to get the kill. I want to get the kill. Let's just all rush in. That also meant that the tanks were spotted. But now the spotting has gone. And cool guy put in some blind shots into those bushes. Did, did he hit, hit them, actually? I didn't keep... I, I think he... Yeah, that was a tank he was shooting. And he seems to be lower in terms of hit points now. That is a... Another... That's an FCM. Yeah, that's an FCM. It, it does actually worry me. And I, I think there are people who can relay that. That you can... That you're looking at a tank and you're looking at parts of a tank or at the cupola and you're thinking, right, that's an FCM. Or you're seeing just uh, the front bit of a tank and you're looking at it and... Uh, when you have stuff like that, when you know stuff like that, when you see stuff like that, you know you played the game for far too long. Or way too many. <laughs> anyway, uh, Kuga is not panicking. I mean, the clock is ticking pretty hard on the cap. And people sometimes panic, but... He doesn't, he's cool guy. Cool guys don't panic. And cool guys don't rush either. He's preserving his hit points. And it's a good thing because look at this 54 lightweight. I mean, what are you doing? This isn't a boat. No, he, he, just, he, he went in. Organs blazing, Yolomo Rambo style. And he's dead. He was probably thinking I'm in a T-54 lightweight. I've got Russia on my side. The Russian bias is real. I can go in and I can just keep shooting because I will hit and bounce anything because I'm in a Russian tank. And sometimes you get this. Where did that one go? This one's gone into the dirt. But you can see it's fully aimed in. No, nope. RNG decides you're gonna dip low. And then RNG decides you shoot straight through the tank and hit behind him. But you still don't hit. But cool guy, hey, it's cool guy, so he ain't uh, panicking. He's just gonna move forward. He's got to shoot another Russian tank. Let's try out the French bias versus the Russian one. Gets a track shot. The IS repairs quickly. He's popping adrenaline. It is three versus five. And can he clear this tank? Then they have a good fighting chance to win. He's still good on hit points. Not brilliant, but he's okay on hit points. The T49 is behind him. Not sure what he is doing. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. T49 is behind him. Not, not sure what he is doing. Trying to get shots in. It's it's not that easy on a T49 with a derpy gun. But they can clear the red T49 because he was low on hit points. And this is good gameplay. One side of the building. The other side of the building. I haven't got shots available, or at least they don't hit, so I'll just relocate, then shoot another tank. Don't expose to any more tanks than just one. And what they will want to do now, it is a two versus two. What they will want to do now is, is clear a tank as quick as possible. And I would preferably be the AMX, because that one has the mobility and the DPM to keep up with either Cool Guy or uh, his teammate in the T49, who is a bit of a Muppet. Um, this is actually a bit lucky. Look at that shot. That's either an incredibly low roll, or there was HE from the T34 that hit him on the backside for less than 300. But Cool Guy is not doing well in terms of hit points, and there's a CDC who's trying to proxy spot, doing a good job at that. Then Cool Guy moves around and gets a very welcome bounce on his tracks but that cdc is at 12 something 900 now he was at 12 and yeah you can't really expect any help from the from the t49 it, it's just the t49 is not the brightest of players around cool guy does not want to get shot up the arse by the t34 so he's moving in now to take this shot happy to take one in return the t34 also shoots 49 rolls in one shot through the turret and boom <laughs> That big hydraulic shot, the derp shot from the T49, goes in on the AMX CDC, and then Cool Guy 
goes in, they approach him from two sides, the T-34 Falcon, you got some funky camouflage, man, you got some funky camouflage, but that will not save you from this tank now. Can he also get the fifth kill? He leaves him at 70, did you hear the shot? T-49 fired and missed. How? God knows, but he missed. And cool guys, very thankful, gets his fifth kill. As you can see, the Redley Walters is there. And this is a proper ace game. Thank you very much for showing that one. I actually learned something from it as well. Just don't drive around like a Muppet in the AMX CDC because it's really quick. But preserve your hit points. Do 4.2k damage, 5 kills, 1476 base XP. And then you get an ace. Thank you very much for sending that one in. And thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Tangus of the Universe, for watching. My name is Martin Dogan. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel and I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers and happy tanking!